Hello everybody, Badger Glue here, and welcome back to Dark Souls. Dark Souls 1, that is. Not 2, because I've played 2 on my channel, but this is Dark Souls 1. So, um, what I want to show you in this episode is some secrets of the beginning part of the Undead Bird here. So, you, you might notice that my shield is different from the last episode. That is because uh, I have been doing stuff without recording it, so I might have to do this sometimes because this game is all about grinding. So, sometimes you just gotta do that. So I'm gonna show you some secrets about this level, um, just so you can get a, get a feel for it. And, like I said in my previous one, I'm trying to go for a more, more of an informative type of thing, uh, playthrough of this game, because I do know this game very well. So, oh, wooden shield, alright, cool. So some, th some of these secrets I've already gotten, but there is one right there, okay. So let's kill these guys and I'll show you some more cool stuff. So these guys, the strategy here is you can walk faster with your shield down. You want to wait for them. Wait till you get there and then you can do your RB attack and that will uh, kill them. So if you're using my class, of course. Uh, circle them until you get behind them or until he attacks. That's fine. Dude. Dode. Dode. You just bait him to attack, too. There you go. And, and he's dead. I stabbed him in the pooper. But, um, yeah, alright. So he's dead. So there's some other stuff you could do here. You could break these, but I don't think there's anything special here. Alright. So the secret is there's a staircase down here. Didn't know. Don't know if you've seen that. Imminent wings. Alright, there's another guy that's behind these bookshelves. Now, there will be bookshelves in yours. I've already done this part, but he will jump out, so be careful of that. So you come over here, and there's a guy. Now, he is not evil, so don't hurt him. Uh, he'll, he's actually a shop, so you buy stuff from him. Um, what I suggest buying is the residence key, which I haven't bought yet. Um, you don't need to buy that just yet. I would buy the short bow, and I would get a 100% damage reduction shield, the heater shield, that'd be nice. Some arrows, you can buy this stuff if you feel like you need it. Um, Throw me a bone. Okay, I also became human and kindled my bonfire, so I always have 10 because I know this next boss is going to be tough. Alright, so you can come back here. Go down here, there's more enemies. And... There we go. We're good. Alright. Come here. Okay. And back step. There we go. Alright. Have you learned anything yet? Oh. Alright. Come up here. Alright. So. Although this part is not really much of a secret. Um. What does this say? Try jumping off. You can get to that. Remember I was trying to do that in the previous episode. I figured out you can get to that by jumping off of here. So you have to run with B and then tap B again. Just like that. And we're in. Alright, I did it. Nice. He did it. You did it. We all did it. We're good. You come up here. Um, we round this quarter and there should be a crossbow and some crossbow bolts. Now I don't personally like the crossbow because it is difficult to aim and the only way to really aim it uh, I believe is with binoculars which you have to get at the beginning. I believe there's a way to, oh fuck me, excuse me. Alright, there we go, we're good. Who's, are you throwing bombs at me fool? You wanna go, fucker? Ooh. ah. Alright, so those are the secrets of this beginning area. So this part right here can be a little bit tough because uh, there are people throwing bombs at you from here and running across that bridge is fine, but when you get in there, there are like four enemies and sometimes it can be a little bit tough. So what I usually do is equip the bow uh, and then aim it. Oh. oh, fuck, I don't remember how to aim it. How do I aim it? 
Oh, I'm gonna waste some arrows until I figure out how to aim this. Okay, there we go. And I usually just take these guys out. Whoops, I missed. I bought a ton of arrows. I got like a hundred right now. Alright, so take those two out and it should be good. Switch back to this. Uh, if you come over here, there is an item there. But, you can- ah fuck! Ah fuck! <laughs> I didn't see- okay. So there is an item there, but you gotta be careful because you cannot get it from this bridge. I have tried several times and you will die okay so there's one more guy one more guy he's just hiding his little ass cheeks all right uh, let's see if I can cook this guy. yeah oh how'd that feel I feel good I'm glad it did all right so yes you cannot get the item from there don't even try it's there to bait you you will die okay So just um, just step around these guys. It's fine. Damn dogs! Probably hear my dog. All right, uh, you can come. This gate will not be open yet. You will get in there in a bit. Uh, so what you want to do? Come over here. Watch out for this guy. He's not too bad. He just kind of tricks, tries to trick you. Boop. Good. All right. Come in here, have your shield raised. Oh fuck. I flipped around there, but so uh, general rule of thumb is you always want to have your shield raised. I don't remember if there's any hidden doors over here. What did that message say? Life. Life indeed. Alright, so you can explore this area. Uh, there's a chest back here. Has some fire bombs. I those would be so super useful for the next boss fight. Alright, let's keep going. Let's push forward. What do we got here? So we took out the guys on that platform that's good. That means we are should be able to kill these guys really easily. Um, to do that move that I just did... Oh, you do a backstab. Nope. Uh, you flick. Oh, I did another backstab. Well, fuck. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. Alright, so it's RB and hold backwards at the same time and let them go th both go. So you kind of flip backwards like that. Uh, it only works, I believe, if you are if you have a scimitar. I'm not quite sure on that fact, but it's kind of cool. Cool looking move. Alright, so you can come down here. Uh, come over here, grab this. Don't remember what this is. Soul of Lost Undead. That's cool. Come over here. You can jump over to there. Let's see what's over there. And almost die. Uh, yeah, that happens occasionally. Uh, you get used to it if you're a Souls player. If you've never played this game before and I'm your first playthrough of it, uh, <laughs> recognize that sometimes people die. So even though I seem like I'm pretty pro, which I probably don't really actually seem pretty pro. Um, people do do die. All right, so there is nothing over here. I seem to recall there being something over here, but I guess not. All right, that's fine. Whatever. It was just there to get some fall damage done. All right, do I have my black bombs equipped? Yes. Okay. And my SS flask. You should be able to get in here if you picked the master key. And this is a little secret for people who did pick the master key. So you come over here, uh, grab this item. It is golden pine resin. That is a very useful weapon, or very useful item, uh, for doing more damage to enemies, uh, especially bosses. I would save that for bosses. Okay, so we're going. Uh, we're going to take care of this guy. I hate. I hate shield guys, but sometimes, sometimes you just gotta fight them. Come on. There we go. All right, took him out. I'm gonna take out this archer up here too because he gets annoying if you. 
if you don't. All right, he's dead. We are good. Where are we going now? We're going out here. Um, you can, if you want, you can bait one of these guys at a time. That's what I like to do because they can be a little tough. They can be a little tricky. All right. And dead. Dead. All right. That's good. What is this message flickering? Go to this view. Look, yeah, look at that view. That's a perfect view. Okay. All right. So, now, you can go down here. This guy, super tough. Do not fight him right now. I would wait until you have more stuff to fight him with. Uh, he is very, very difficult. Um, someone probably fell down there. So he is not aggro until you get closer to him, so don't worry about him right now. I just wanted to bring it to your attention. You can try to fight him, but uh, it's not, it doesn't look good. All right, so when we walk up here, you want to kind of bait him, but run back and down because there is a flaming barrel. Flaming barrels are dangerous. Did you tell? Alright, I'm gonna do one damage here. Alright, we're good. Alright, I'm going to check my equipment. Let's see, what's its, uh, what's its durability here? Uh, where do I where do I figure that out again? I don't remember. Oh well, if it breaks, it fucking breaks. Shit's shit sucks if it breaks. Uh, I believe you can open this with the master key too. Yes, but we're not gonna go down there yet. Uh, if you want to go down there, there's a guy down there named Havel, and Havel is very difficult to beat as well. So the point with this game uh, that a lot of people don't understand is that um, you are not given really much direction as far as where to go and you can go to areas where you cannot beat it so if people believe that they can go to that area and then try to go to that area they're not going to be able to beat it okay so there should be a bug on one of these yep kill him kill him with fire no 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 fuck these guys are tough to kill him but you want to kill every single one you find because they give you upgrading material for your weapons that is super important super important all right i'm hoping i don't lose my souls this boss all right i'm going to whoops equip some stuff here i'm going to take this off and put pine resin instead um All right. I do not want to die on this boss. He is tough. He's a very tough boss. So if I do die, I apologize, but it's just how I am. Um, but I'm going to use some pine resin, and I'm also going to use the black fire bombs to take him out. All right. So use the pine resin before. Uh, well, actually, I didn't need to do that. That was a silly mistake. Don't use your pine resin yet. You want to go up here first. I forgot he doesn't just pop up. But you want to go up here, you want to take out these guys first because they will be fucking annoying. Notice how much damage the pine resin saves. Alright, there is a way how, what is it? To slide down. I thought, I thought there was a way to slide down. Maybe not in this version. Or maybe not in this game. Okay. You want to have your shield. Alright, so as soon as you go over here there's going to be a boss. He's going to jump up. You want to immediately turn around. Immediately turn around and book the fuck out of it. Get up here. Switch to your firebomb. Lock onto him. Come up here. I'm going to throw firebomb at him. And then I'm going to jump down. And BAM! Alright. I had to hurt him. Okay. I'm going to throw another firebomb at him. I'm not even going to get close to him. Yeah, see, he just... Alright, you want to go up again? Come on, 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 come on. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. 
All right, just keep spamming this method. Method. Just keep throwing firebombs at him. And then he should be dead. Yeah. All right. Um, that was the best I've ever beat that boss, and I got it on camera. And that is fan fucking tastic. All right. So that's one method to beating this guy. Um, whew, my heart's beating. Uh, all right, so so far I've beaten every boss without dying, and that feels fucking great. All right, so let's just get a little bit further because this episode's a little shorter than my other episode here. So attack here. Da, 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 da. All right, barrels. Take out all those barrels. Okay, so you gotta be kind of careful here because some people uh, fuck up. Right here. Uh, there's an item behind that, isn't there? Yep. Item, large soul, mill undead. So some people fuck up right here. I'm always looking for those uh, hidden doors. Alright. Shit's locked. Okay, come down here. So I don't want to lose those souls. First off, I'm going to spam this guy with talking because I want to get my summoning sign. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I believe you can talk to him again. Fuck. Uh, my decision is yes! Woo! <laughs> yes! It's good. It's a good decision. Yes. Haha, -ha, take this, white substone. Nice. To summon and get of course, but I don't know what else you're saying. You can read that if you want to read that when you're playing your game. Okay. This part. <coughs> uh, throws a lot of people off. Okay. First off, let's come in here and let's look, see what we got. Okay. Oh, wait, we're already here. What am I doing? What am I doing? You know, cut that out. Alright. Shit's locked. Alright. Heal up. Looks menacing. Be wary of dragon. That is a good hint. All right, so you want to bait it. Low frame drops. Low frame drops. As soon as you see him, oh, oh, well, fuck. I failed. It's okay. Um, just drink an Estus, you'll be fine. All right, so you see this guy. He is very, very, very tough. You probably cannot beat him right now. In fact, I don't think I've ever beaten him when I've played it. Um, but you can just run past him. Hopefully you'll have enough health. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to run past him. Don't worry about those items. Those items are there to bait you. To get you. Just immediately come over here run down here. Because you are unlocking a way to the next bonfire and that is what I want so you come down here and give a nice kick to that ladder I'm gonna just walk down here everything shit reloads rest at that bonfire notice this is why I kindled this bonfire because I am going to use this bonfire many times that's why I kindled it you can choose which ones to kindle kindling just gives you more Estus flasks at the bonfire uh, you need actually to use two humanity items in order to have a little two up at the top there. Then you can kindle it. Alright guys, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you found it enjoyable and I hope you learned a lot about the Dark Souls world. And I hope your game is awesome. And let me know if you liked it. See you later.